Ah, first morning coffee. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Ed Frolish, and you're watching Ocean Deep Fishing. And today, we're going to do a little DIY. As you know, I'm fixing up my garage here, and I have a corner that's dedicated to my fishing stuff. So, I've got the back wall already done, and in the corner, as you can see, I've got room for some of my rods. So, I previously bought a small rod rack that I put in there. So basically the rod holder that I purchased is to hold rods that don't have reels on them because they're set close together. And I'll show you just what I mean. Let me have another sip of this great coffee this morning. Mm, nothing like a great cup of coffee. Early morning, it's a little foggy, overcast today. So it's a perfect day to do this. So here's my dilemma. And you can see how cluttered and close the reels are. And I don't like the one reel touching the other. They're gonna get banged up. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna measure this wall from here to here. And we're gonna make it out of PVC pipe that I can attach to the bottom of the wall here. And it's vertically gonna hold the rods and they're gonna be separated more than what they are here to keep them from banging regardless of whether the reel and rod are $25 a piece or $300 $400 a piece you don't want them banging each other and scarring them up you know I try to keep my stuff as nice as I can so anyway stick around I'm going to show you how to make this DIY rod holder out of PVC pipe and you can apply this to any project you want to do in your garage or workshop to fit as many rods as you want all right let's get to it Okay guys, first thing we're going to do is take this <clears throat> Okay guys, so next we need to get a measurement of how wide this is and we're going to put our rods and reels and spread them out just kind of get an idea of how many we can fit on there so let's get that measurement now Okay guys, so I've spaced out my rods about so you can see we got about six inches to there, six inches, six inches, and that gives us enough room to where when they're vertical like that, they're not gonna hit each other. Okay, so our overall measurement for what we need is 27 inches. 27 inches center to the first and the last rod. I'm going to take that measurement and we're going to go over to the workbench and we're going to set it up and see just what we need to do to make that happen. All right, come on over with me. I'm going to show you what we've got, what we need to make this, and then uh, we're going to put it together. This is the materials you're going to need, and there's extra here from what we're going to be using. So I have T's, they're one and a quarter inch. PVC tees and we've got five of these we're only going to use three of those and then we have elbows that are going to be for the end they're just a pipe rack you can buy them at the hardware store I got all this stuff at Lowe's to fit one and a quarter inch PVC pipe and that's what's going to hold it on the wall uh, in place once we get it done one and a quarter inch PVC and it's thin wall you can see it's not a thick wall but and I'm using thin wall because you don't have to have the strength of the PVC for the rod holders this uh, thin wall is plenty strong enough but the difference between the thin wall and the thick wall the schedule 20, uh, 40 is that this hole inside on the schedule 40 which is the thicker PVC pipe is not as big so your rods won't fit in there as easy so you can see as your rod goes in, it's got plenty of room that it fits in there really nicely. And it'll fit most of your rods, medium to light action. Maybe some of your heavier duty rods, you might have to beef it up and get the um, one and a half inch schedule 40. So we're gonna set this up and we're gonna see approximately what we need. So. We already said between this point and this point here, center was 27 inches. 
So we want six inches between the center of this post and the center of this post from the center to center, six inches. I'm gonna take that measurement. We're gonna figure out what the length is that we need for the pieces to go in the middle in order to make that dimension correct. Okay, so you can see it's one and a quarter inches on each side. We're gonna measure in between. Okay, the measurement is one and seven eighths. I wanna be two and a half inches. We have to add to the center part, which was one and seven eighths. So we're gonna add that together. And those are the pieces we're gonna cut out of our PVC pipe in order to make that six inch on center happen. Okay, and we're gonna to have to cut four of those at four and three eighths, and then we're gonna glue them together. And then we're going to find out how tall we need the holders to hold the rods up. So you can see the clearance. If we just come up to here, that's about eight inches. We've got eight inches here that'll work. Eight inches there will work. Eight inches there will work. And then for this one, because it's so long and skinny, we might make that about 14. And we'll put that in the middle. So we're going to cut. We're going to cut our eight-inch pieces first. We're just going to measure eight inches. Lock it down. Double check. Eight inches, and we're going to cut four of those. That was for that was for my slow pitch rod because it has such a long shank. So 14 inches. We're going to mark it. And let's cut that. Okay guys, now we need our last pieces that we're gonna cut, which were four and three eighths. Once we put it into the couplings, that's gonna give us our six inch on center um, spread so that our rods don't clank together. Okay, let's get this cut. Okay guys, as you can see, we have our four pieces that we need for our separation of distance. We've got our four eight inch pieces, which is gonna be where we're gonna put our rods into. And you have the one 14 inch, which is gonna fit my slow pitch jigging rod because it has such a long handle. And then we have all of our stuff ready to go. We're using PVC cement to glue all this together. It's great if you have a nice flat surface to put this together. Okay, let's put them together. Okay guys, as you see, I, uh, they're all glued down and I made sure I pressed down on them so that they were all flat. Now it's up to you at the second part. I'm gonna glue the pieces in, but you may not want to so you can take it apart later um, to put it in a box, maybe you're moving and uh, it'd be easier to store that way. But I'm gonna glue mine in because I don't plan on taking them with me. Okay, one, one note, and that's totally up to you. I'm keeping it white, I'm not gonna paint it, but at this time, if you wanted to spray paint this, you could spray paint it any color you want to match your wall or if you just like a particular color. But I'm gonna leave it white, because everything else is white, and um, let's go over and install it. I put a box up underneath here, just to help elevate it off the floor while I'm putting the brackets on. You also wanna make sure the elevation Make sure that it's low enough that when you're putting your rod in to the holder here that your tip doesn't hit the ceiling or it misses it very little over there. So I, I, I was going to put a little higher, but trying to put the rods in there, it uh, kind of hits the ceiling too much. So I'm going to leave it at this height here. 
So I'm going to put the center bracket on first just to <clears throat> help hold it um, so it doesn't fall forward. Now I'm using self-threading. These are called Durarox screws. They're for a cement board for uh, the showers, but that's what I have on hand. And I'm using it because it has a wide, you can see it has a wide head, which is going to hold it a little better. And the, the threads are very tight, so it's going to hold well into the board. Okay, so let's put this, let's put this together. put our last clamp on over here let's go get the rods and put them in and see what it looks like all right guys here's the finished product you can definitely see how nice they are spaced between each other all right guys we're going to close this out as always please give us a thumbs up it really helps the channel subscribe if you haven't subscribed already Ring that notification bell to let you know the next time we upload so you can watch it. And until next time, guys, tight lines, God bless, be safe, and we're out of here. See ya.